Hello and welcome to Rhino's Ravens Preview. Be sure to like and subscribe so you'll be notified when I drop the review show. Alright, up this week, Baltimore Ravens going to Cleveland to play the Cleveland Browns. Somewhat of a big matchup for two reasons, really, I guess. Especially for Cleveland fans. They aren't too happy still that their team left Cleveland and went to Baltimore. Even, you know, they knew it for a long time. It's not like it happened in the middle of the night or anything. But that's okay. You can still be upset by that. You got an expansion team like a few years later. Okay. Well, <laughs> not only is it a rivalry game and division standing at stake, but lots of injuries seems to be the theme of the NFL this season. <sighs> Big long list for the Baltimore Ravens and a somewhat medium sized list for the Cleveland Browns. <sighs> Rashad Bateman, hamstring out. Odell Beckham Jr., ankle out. Right off the bat. Two of your top three wide receivers are out. Wonderful. Gus Edwards, concussion. And here, I'll, let's talk about the, the key. Let's go all the way to the bottom. As far as practice status, DNP did not participate. LP, limited participant. FP, full participant. A uh, little dash, not listed. As far as game status, out. Player will not play. Doubtful. Player is kind of unlikely to play. Questionable. We don't know yet. Not that doubtful and questionable really mean anything. The only one that's really noteworthy there is out. And or maybe the dash for not listed. Other than that, it's too uncertain. You could see Gus Edwards has a little dash here. And FP for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, as of right now, Gus Edwards is going to play. Kyle Hamilton back. Not exactly sure what is wrong with his back, but it is apparently hurting. Didn't participate Wednesday, limited Thursday, full participant Friday. So, and Justice Hill, foot, same status improvement. You of them do not play. I mean, do not participate Wednesday, limited Thursday, Friday, you're a full participant. To me, that there's an upgrade in status there where you're trying to get him some extra rest, trying to have some caution, and gradually, well, and Friday comes around and you're full, fully participating. So, I got to say, while Hamilton and Hill are listed as questionable, being that they were full participants Friday, they're, they're probably playing. I mean, it's extremely likely that they are playing. Marlon Humphrey foot still out. Yeah, at this point, I'm sorry, but you look like a bunch of idiots for not putting him on injured reserve. That's about all it is there. I mean, what are you saving yourself a game? Maybe two? Don't think it's worth it at this point. Tyler Lindebaum still hampered by the ankle. Limited participant all week, so he's questionable. Now, was no real progression there, but is that because they're trying to save him? Potentially, I think Mustafer played okay. So, Lind Lindebaum probably really is questionable. We don't really know yet. Jabo ankle, knee, and Owe, just ankle. They're both out. No participation this week per what is listed on the, and I didn't say it, BaltimoreRavens.com. This is the injury report page that the Ravens have put out. So Jabo, Owe, they're out. 
I guess it is technically likely that some of these guys that are out are going to play, but uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I think, I know we are like a few days away, or I guess we're only one day away. But the likelihood, is, it's slim to none, even if they're allowed to play, which, I mean, are they even allowed to play? They're listed on this injury report is out. Are the Ravens even allowed to do this? Not something that they are sharing with us at this current time. Ronnie Stanley. Knee injury. Limited participant. Limited participant. Did not participate. Doubtful. Stanley's probably not going to play. I think there is a good, very good chance Stanley will not play. I mean, you can't go from limited to do not participate, be listed as doubtful, Oh, yeah, he's playing Sunday. I don't know about that one. And I think part of it is with his backup, at least in current health of the current backup, <clears throat> Patrick McCarry. I don't think you're losing too much, if anything. Maybe you're gaining a little bit better tech. Maybe you're, I'm sorry. Maybe you're losing a little bit better technique, maybe by Stanley, but... Because McCarry doesn't have the lingering lower body injuries that Stanley has, I think you might be gaining more speed. So, is it really a downgrade having McCarry at left tackle than Stanley? I'm not so sure quite yet. Marcus Williams, here is some good news. Pectoral injury. Limited participant Wednesday, full participant Thursday and Friday, listed as questionable. Here's somebody we thought maybe a few weeks, maybe this would actually have to result in surgery. But at this time, being full participant Thursday and Friday, I say he's probably playing, which is fantastic news. But something we'll have to keep an eye on, especially in game. This does seem to be a little quicker than we thought he would be back, so. Hopefully, we're all making the right decisions here. Let's go on to the Cleveland Browns, who are no stranger to all, you know, the injury. Let's just stick with to the, some of the big ones. Joel Batonio, it's very good guard for them. Cleveland Browns have had a pretty good offensive line for a long time now. Rest slash ankle did not participate Wednesday, limited Thursday and Friday. Game status is not listed. Okay. Is he going to play or is he not going to play? Well, I don't know. We don't know yet. It's probably just rest because he knows he's going to have his hands full come Sunday. Sean Watson, here's probably the real one to really pay special attention to. This is right shoulder. That is the throwing shoulder. Limited participant all week. So, as of right now, everybody in Cleveland, at least what we're, they're telling people is that Watson will play. <clears throat> so, I mean, take that for what it is, really, I guess. All right, let's get let's go find some articles. This one written by Ryan Mink, editorial director, BaltimoreRavens.com. Headline right there: Ravens rule out five players versus the Browns. Ronnie Stanley listed as doubtful. The injury bug continues to smack this team in the face. Really. I'm not sure I completely understand it. Some of it, I guess, is more regular season games, not enough preseason games. Your body is not hardened as much as it should be to play this sport anyway. And with the more games, you are more likely to say, hey, sit out a few games or whatever because it's a 17-game season now. Move on to this Deshaun Watson article. This article is written by Clifton Brown, BaltimoreRavens.com staff writer. 
And this is where Clifton talks about, yeah, everything. I think it was a quote from John Harbaugh, if I'm not mistaken. And it was, everything we are hearing out of Cleveland points to Deshaun Watson playing. But yes, obviously, as the headline says. And of course, John Harbaugh knows how the league goes. We're also going to prepare for the backup quarterback. Right? Because even if you think the starter is going to play, well, you you got some big hitters on a defense. Likely to knock the starting quarterback out of the game and you have to face the backup anyway. So you might as well prepare for both if you can. And why are we talking about this? Well, Jadavian Clowney, the one pass rusher, or at least edge pass rusher, that is not listed as out. Most recently played, or not most recently, I guess. Was he with Cleveland last year, or did he go somewhere else first? I can't remember. Seems to have jumped around a few years. To a few different places since he left Houston. But he was with this Cleveland ball club for a while. And throughout most of the time he was there, Miles Garrett was on the other side. So, and yeah, I didn't look up an article for this. Not that nobody from the BaltimoreRavens.com here is talking about it, but it's not exactly something... I need help with, I guess. Talking about injuries, I'm not exactly privy to some of that information, but it's not hard to miss these storylines, you know, if you're a football fan. You know, Cleveland, the team, and the city, the people, they're not too happy with the Ravens franchise because Art Modell moved them out of Cleveland. They didn't like that. So when the Ravens come into town, yeah, it's a big game for them. And going the same way, Jadavian Clowney sees himself as a great pass rusher, and I'm not going to dis- I'm not here to dispute that, at least not at this point. But when he was there in Cleveland, there was Miles Garrett on the other side, and for however many sacks Clowney got, it seems like Miles Garrett was always the talk of the town. Now, depending on who you're listening to, because, you know, an actual person talking about football would realize that having a good pass rusher on both sides is going to make the other one play better. So, I mean, we'll have to see what Miles Garrett does without Clowney on the other side. And we'll have to see what Clowney does without Garrett on the other side. I don't exactly know who the Cleveland Browns picked up to replace Clowney. Uh, I maybe could have tried to look that up, but I wonder if I can. Can I look that up? No. Okay. I don't know why, but... Let's see if you can, if they will show me relatively quickly the Cleveland Brown roster. See, uh, I know they did pick up Van Oy, veteran linebacker. Oh, is it Darius Smith? Okay. Well, there is another storyline. And Darius Smith used to play here in Baltimore. He went to Green Bay, if I'm not mistaken, right? Coming. He's facing his old team, the team that drafted him, the team that didn't feel like paying him. Not that that's a bad thing. You went and you got paid by Green Bay. So now, Miles Garrett does have Zedarius Smith on the other side now. He's a little older, I think, of course. I mean, he's about the same age as Clowney. We'll just see who, which... Frontline team is going to have the better 
what the hell am I trying to say? What word? I know what I'm trying to say, but what words <laughs> am I using the right words? So you you got essentially you guys Darius Smith and Miles Garrett against the Ravens offensive line. You got Jadavian Clowney and friends. Maybe you can consider defensive tackle Justin Matabike in there. Not that he's to the interior is too big on pass rushing. Against the Cleveland offensive line and potentially a hampered starting quarterback. I always think that the game is won in the trenches or lost in the trenches. Because if quarterbacks don't have enough time, they can't throw the ball. If running backs can't don't have a hole to run through, then they won't get anywhere. It's also a great way to control the clock. Something the Ravens do not do well. So, let's look at the schedule here. Try to wrap this up with my little summary and my take. So, yeah, I mean, I think that is going to be the huge thing. Can the Ravens' offensive line, with or without Ronnie Stanley, can they keep Miles Garrett and Darius Smith at bay? And on the other side, can Jadavian Clowney and whichever of his friends are active for the game, can they get pressure on Deshaun Watson? Can he get enough pressure and maybe get it some hits on that right arm? Maybe knock him out of the game. It's going to be huge for who's going to cut, who's going to win this game. Cleveland offense has is much improved, especially with Deshaun Watson. Uh, and Joku is the tight end, right? He was on there somewhere. Oh, he was on the injury report. What is what was his status? Joku arm face questionable. Okay, I have no idea. Big target for Deshaun Watson. But that's about enough, enough for speculation. This is going to do it for this edition of Rhinos Ravens preview. Football game, Baltimore Ravens at Cleveland Browns tomorrow, October 1st at 1 o'clock in Cleveland. <sighs> Do the review show, review show, Rhinos Ravens review will be on Monday. There, I did it on Monday. Nope, Ravens review show will be Monday. Don't need on there. Be sure to like and subscribe. I am the Angry Rhino. Fly Ravens, fly. Fly.